Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode number 58 of Constructing Los Angeles Season 2. Guys, what's up? We're back today, and I'm actually going to be doing another 10-minute post-commentary episode today. We did one a couple episodes back, and it was the first one we did in a while, so I'm jumping right back into it on this theme, doing another one today. Got some topics to discuss with some building in the background, so let's jump right into it. First things first, let's talk about some of the builds. Well, what I'm building in the background, I should say. So, we're doing some interior today. Um, last couple days here on Los Angeles, my plan has been to just try to finish some of the stuff that I started because there is a lot of unfinished projects in this world. And I, again, like I said, I don't want this to be the, the same as season one where I have like 5,000 different things incomplete, uh, you know, halfway through the series. So um, I'm trying to furnish some stuff that has been unfurnished for a while now. So today you're going to be seeing me work on one of the beach houses interiors. I started a little bit of it on stream, but you're going to see me furnish quite a few rooms today uh, in this video. We're going to be covering the kitchen, the dining room, I believe like the family room with the TV. Uh, we'll do at least a bathroom, at least one bathroom I'm sure. A couple of hallways detailing that as well as the master bedroom I believe is what we do. Maybe one of the room in there. I don't 100% remember, but that's at least the uh, you know the gist of what is going to be worked on today in this video. So you're also going to see me utilize some barrier blocks for some different styles of chair designs with banners. It's definitely a, a cool way to do things. So you'll you'll see that in the video, and also you're going to see some new paintings in the City Texture Pack Advanced, specifically the three x four painting, which is a I guess a grayscale. Um, rendition of the Alpine Mansion. So it's like a black and white photo, I guess. So that was a pretty cool thing that Joe added to the City Advanced. Shout out to him. If you guys are interested in like City Advanced downloads, by the way, um, I could probably throw the latest download in the description for you guys because I'm sure some people ask about that all the time. Um, anyway, other things we want to talk about today besides this build actually kind of segueing off of this i'm trying to do more interior stuff and i'm trying to just kind of work on improving some of the detail of the world um there's a lot of builds but a lot of them are like i said unfinished need more detail and i'm working towards that today you'll see i'm trying to put as much detail into these interiors as possible and try to like change things up a little bit from like the standard template that i'm like using on fur on furnishing so i've been doing Furnishing kind of similar for a while, especially on traditional houses like this. So trying to mix things up and try some different designs. Obviously some of those new paintings and, and using uh, barrier blocks and, and banners for chairs. That's definitely a good way to do things. I'm going to try to utilize uh, some of those um, water tables in some future builds. I don't know if it fit necessarily on this build, but maybe for a modern build, that would be really awesome. I'm going to try to utilize those a ton. Just try to, you know, uh, expand my uh, my library of stuff I can add to interiors on builds. Just try to, you know, build as much detail into it as possible and in a bunch of different ways. So that's kind of like what I'm working on right now. I'm doing a little bit of uh, furnishing and stuff like that. And I'm definitely inspired by some of the stuff on my Twitch subscriber server. That's definitely been helpful. Because there's stuff on there that people do with world and stuff that I just didn't even know existed. So I'm still trying to learn all that stuff, obviously, being a console player at heart. So I'm still so, like, set in my set in my way of just kind of, you know, building things, you know, in certain ways like that I've been doing for years. And I got to try to, in, you know, improve on that a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. And hopefully that'll start to show here in some of these builds that we're putting together in these next few episodes of CLD as well as, you know my uh, let's build series i'm doing a tudor style house right now which we're two parts into and i think it's looking great so far so if you're interested in that check it out uh, we're going to be doing tons of house tours on the sub server we have a couple more coming up soon that are really incredible so i'm excited for that um that that world has been is very prolific right now so we're just going to try to tour as much stuff on there as possible um but yeah that's kind of like what i want to talk about on that front let's kind of transition a little bit we are now into the month of August, guys. Today is August 3rd when I'm recording this, so that is pretty crazy. I cannot believe it's August already. The summer is flying by. We only have like one month left of the summer. I know most people, you know, it, I mean, I guess depending on your age, kind of summer kind of changes because I guess when you're in school, 
the kind of like that official end of summer is your first day back to school where technically, you know, summer doesn't end until like what, September 20th or something like that, whenever the summer solstice ends or the fall, what is it, a fall equinox? Is that the appropriate term for the changing of the season? Something like that. But um, yeah, it's it's crazy. That's August already. I can't believe that. But I think August is going to be a really good month. Obviously, we got a football season coming back up, which is going to be awesome. Even though I'm a Jets fan, all right, yep, get get your roasts out of the way already. Get, get them out of the way. Even though I'm a Jets fan, still very excited for football season, obviously. It's a great time of year. So that's coming up pretty soon. And I'm trying to do some things to improve my stream this month. I'm working on some stuff behind the scenes. So hopefully that'll that'll come together. And also, one big thing related to CLD specifically. I am 100% going to have CLD move to the new seed this month. Like That is like one of my biggest goals for this month is to get that done. Because that is something that I have been putting off because I've had so much other stuff to do. So it's kind of like last on the priority list. So like whenever I have something to do other than that, I'm like, ah, well, I'll do that later. Just kind of keep on pushing it back. And I got to stop doing that. I got to actually get that done. So that's going to be one of the, the goals for this month. But hopefully it'll be a great month. I could definitely, I could just feel it. We're already three days in. I can feel it. It's going to be a great month. But anyway, we got some more things to talk about. How about a question of the day? Let's answer one. So today's question of the day is coming from Pi Bombs, and the question is, has there ever been anything you wanted to build, but you were too intimidated by it or never tried? Or maybe you tried, but it wasn't turning out right and you gave up. That's a that's a good question right there. That is a real good question. Thank you, Pi Bombs. Let's try to answer this one. First off, I don't know if intimidated is the right word, maybe just hesitant to start something like huge. Um, there's definitely things that I have wanted to build that I have never gotten around to doing. Airport is definitely one of those things. And I don't want to say that I'm, I'm too intimidated to build an airport. It is, I am hesitant by like the size of an airport. That's going to be a big project. Definitely not intimidated though. Um, I've definitely been, I've wanted to do more pixel arts and I've only done like a few of them on Xbox. But pixel arts are really cool if you can put a lot of detail into them and, and you can do them like based on stuff that you like, you know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. But I've never really gotten around to doing one of those. Um, other stuff like redstone builds and things like that is something that I guess actually that would probably intimidate me a little bit because redstone is complicated as hell. If especially when you're getting to like high level redstone stuff, stuff with command blocks is other stuff that I just kind of, you know, haven't had a chance to to mess with too much. Pretty much just like a bare bones builder when it comes to Minecraft. You know, I don't really do, use a lot of a lot of mods or anything like that. I'm pretty just give me a world that it wand and I'm ready to go. But there's a tons of stuff that I haven't had a chance to build that maybe I'll end up you know messing around with in the future. Um, and as far as like stuff that I've started that I gave up on, I'm not really that type of person. Like usually if I start something, I, I try to complete it. You know, even if it doesn't turn out the way I want, I'm definitely not going to give up. So there's definitely things that have been like that in the past. Um, for sure. But yeah, it's definitely a good question. Really, really good question. Cause it's like, there's probably so many things that I can't even think of off the top of my head that I've wanted to build or I haven't had a chance to build yet. Definitely with some of these mansions that I'm putting together right now, they're pretty intimidating. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to, trying to get those because I'm, I'm trying to match them to the Alpine mansion. I think that's my biggest mistake trying to live up to that, the, uh, expectation of that build. So that's probably, uh, putting a little bit too much pressure on myself I guess but we haven't worked on those in a couple episodes we'll get back to those as soon as I feel like I have the inspiration for them which is not currently so um, anyway thank you for the question pie bombs appreciate it. that's a really good question I'm sure you know even if you're just watching the video answering that question in your own mind it's definitely a uh, definitely an interesting one to think about for sure but anyway um, we're getting pretty much close to the end of this video guys uh, just a quick recap of what you saw today with the building um, it's all interior we're furnishing stuff I'm trying to build these houses out I'm probably gonna do like every other episode maybe I'll do some interior work and then I'll start you know finishing some exterior builds definitely need some to do some work on some of the exterior builds of the college campus as well as some of those skyscrapers need to be detailed a little more and complete on the exterior and then we'll just like mix in some interior builds as well that's kind of the future of the series for the next few episodes but anyway guys thank you for watching it's been dan lags drop a like if you did enjoy it i'll be back in another or with another episode of cld in just a couple of days hopefully you guys did enjoy it and i'll see you on the next one peace out